Hey guys, welcome to Rich's Methods. Uh, today we're going to show you how to connect a component switch to your home entertainment center. This allows you to connect uh, up to four devices to your TV, especially if your TV only has one or two inputs. This component uh, switch will allow you to connect up to four devices at one time. But first, before we begin, I want to uh, officially announce that this is my first video as a YouTube partner. <laughs> and that's the wrong sound bite. I just started with new software, please just bear with me, and there we go! Okay, that's annoying, that's really annoying, I want to stop, and we are done. To get this video started, again, this is a component switch. Uh, this is a great device to use when you want to connect multiple devices to your TV. Um, I have my Xbox and my DVD player connected to my TV through this component uh, switch. And pretty much you just press a button and it switches between the DVD or the Xbox or any other thing you want to connect to your TV. And I'll show you how to connect it. It's really easy. So let's get started. Okay guys, so here I am at the back of my TV. At the bottom right corner of your screen you see the plugs. These three here are the component uh, plugs. We have the green, blue, and red. And then over here we have our composite audio. This is white and red. This is for your sound. You'll also notice that this green has a yellow circle around it, which is, says video. This is if you just have a typical uh, RCA uh, type setup on your device. You could connect the yellow wire um, here in the green slot, and then you connect the audio as well. So that's why this is circled yellow. This is if your device does not have the component capability like my DVD player. I have a really, uh, I have an older DVD player, and this one would connect just using the yellow and the white and the red. However, things like Blu-ray players and newer DVD players as well as your Xbox will connect with these three components which is the green, blue, and red. Also on the back here you'll see that there's two HDMI inputs. This is your high definition uh, input. You get a better uh, video if you use HDMI. Uh, you can also get component switches that connect using HDMI. However, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect the component uh, inputs. Uh, which are just as simple as the HDMI. It's just my particular DVD player doesn't have any HDMI output. Uh, so let's zoom in on the back of the component switch and I'll show you how to connect it to the TV. So here's the component switch. You can see I have DVD and Xbox uh, typed or labeled nicely on the front here. All I do is just press this button to select my DVD player or the third button here to, to select my Xbox. I have two open areas that I could add other components to my TV. However, I don't have them right now. I just decided to connect these two. So let me turn this to the back. You'll see there's a bunch of RCA jacks, a lot more, a lot more plugs than we saw at the back of my TV. On the left side of your screen here we have the output. Uh, we have a green, blue, and red component video. We have a red and white audio composite plugs. And we also have a yellow video plug. So if your TV didn't have a high definition capability or if it didn't have high def output capability um, or input capability, you would connect just the yellow, white, and red uh, com uh, wires. Remember on the back of the TV we had a green plug that looked like this one with the yellow going around it uh, that said video. So that's where you would connect that wa particular wire. However, because this TV is capable of high definition, I want to use the component setup. So I'm going to connect the green, blue, and red wires as well as the audio composite wires which are the white and red. So this is going from the input at the back of the TV coming into the output here on the left side of the screen. Then over here we have all of the inputs. So this is where all your data from your DVD player or Xbox is going into the component switch. Then it comes out the output into the input at the back of the TV. We have one unit here, second unit, third unit, and then finally the fourth unit back here doesn't have a high def capability. This, this particular model doesn't have that. It just has the yellow, white, and red. However, it does have S-Video. Each of these have S-Video. S-Video was similar to HDMI where it would send just the video data to the TV. I, however, do not have an S-Video uh, input at the back of my TV, so I'm only going to use these component uh, wires. So let me show you how to connect these. What I did was I took the wires and I organized them here at the bottom of my entertainment center. On the right-hand side of your screen here, these are the wires coming from the input from the back of the TV. I have my audio wires here. This is a black and a red wire. These might be white or red. It just depends on the type you have. Then I have my component wires, which are the green, red, and blue. So these are all the wires that are going to the TV, which will be connected over here on the left side. 
Then in the middle here we have my Xbox wires, uh, the red, green, and blue, again the video. And then we have the red and the white, which are the audio. The yellow is here as well. This uh, particular wire won't be used uh, to send any data. However, I will still plug it into the back of the component switch just to keep things organized and you know, a lot more uh, cleaner. Then on the left-hand side of your screen here, I have the wires coming from my DVD player. Some of the wires fell over here. This DVD player is a little bit, uh, it's, it's a little bit cheaper. It's a small DVD player. And instead of buying the component wires, the red, green, and blue, I decided to use some leftover RCA jacks. And for my tastes, uh, I believe these work just fine. However, if you want to get uh, good quality, high definition, I'd recommend buying the actual uh, component wires. However, again, I'm a student trying to save money, so I just use the RCA jack uh, or the RCA wires. All right, so I'm going to zoom or I'm going to speed up the video at this point, and I'm going to connect the uh, input wires as well as the other wires to the component switch. Let's try this out. First, you have to put your TV onto its component setting. So that's really easy. I just select component. And let's turn on the Xbox. And I have my DVD player on. And I'm going to select the Xbox first, waiting for it to turn on. And there we go. The Xbox is connected. And let's see if the DVD player is connected. So there you go. Now I can switch in between the DVD player or the Xbox without having to disconnect any other wires. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If not, this is Rich's Methods. I will see you on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Bye.